Hello my feral friends and welcome to my channel. My name is Panthera and I'm the Feral Wood Witch. I'm here to help you reconnect to your inner wild through witchcraft and natural living. Today we're going to be diving into what you need to become a real witch. Let's get to it. But first, what is witchcraft? The definition of witchcraft is tricky because most of the time it's referring to the use of fantasy magic. In reality, witchcraft is a living practice still being utilized by many different people to this day. I look at witchcraft as the manipulation of energy in order to reach a desired outcome. Now this energy manipulation can mean many different things. Depending on what you believe in, it could mean spirits or deities or just the energy that exists around us. As I tend to think of myself as a more secular practitioner, I try to focus my practice around laws such as uh, the law of conservation of energy and the laws of attraction. So what's the first thing that you need to become a real witch? The first thing you need to be a witch is to have an open mind. You have to be willing to experience a little more than just the mundane world. Now you can go into this being a skeptic, as I did, but you also have to at least be open to the possibility that you don't know everything in this world and that there's still so much more for you to experience and to learn. And the second thing that you need to be a real witch is to have a love of learning. The research you do while practicing witchcraft is never ending. There's so many different topics to dive into. And this phase never really ends during your practice. There are hundreds of books, and now with the new rise in popularity of witchcraft, tons of digital content too, such as videos like this or podcasts to explore. No one knows everything about witchcraft. So embrace that you'll be in a constant mindset of learning. Prepare yourself by planning and expecting to need to do all the research. And the third thing that you need to be a witch is a willingness to try. Witchcraft is a practice or a way of life. While research is an important and necessary part of anyone's journey, you also have to be willing to do the thing. It doesn't have to be jumping into your path with a full-on ritual, but you do have to start infusing magic into your life in some way, whether it's a small protection spell, a simple cleansing, or just infusing your daily intent into your favorite beverage. This is also for all the skeptics out there. You'll never be able to prove to yourself if it's real or not if you never try. Give it the benefit of the doubt and see what happens. I know that this was an important step for me and I was actually blown away by the amount of coincidences that occurred after performing my first bits of magic. And the fourth and final thing that you need to be a witch is to have a desire to connect to more than just yourself or to have a desire to reach out and experience more than just this mundane life. This can range from wanting to foster a deeper connection with nature and energy to eventually working with spirits or deities if you're so inclined. But overall, the concept remains the same. There is more out there than just you. And you want to deeper your connection to those things that are magical in this world. And that's really it. There are no physical requirements to being a witch. There are no gender restrictions. You don't have to be born into it. And there are no limits to what religion you can be while also being a witch. All you have to do is have the desire and to actually do the thing. Start and see if it's for you. So you've got what it takes and you've decided that you wanna start practicing witchcraft. What next? I would start with research. Pick a topic that sounds interesting to you and just dive into it. Then start a small daily practice. Even if it's just pulling a tarot card every morning or infusing your favorite beverage with your intent like we talked about. And then start recording your progress in a journal, digital or physical. Uh, keep track of your journey as you go. These are experiences that you're gonna wanna look back on. You're not gonna wanna forget all those little steps that you made along the way. The beginning is such an important part of your journey and you're gonna wanna look back on it. That's all for today, my friends. I hope you liked this video and if you have any questions, feel free to drop them in the comments and I'll get to them as soon as I can. If you enjoyed this content and wanna see more, please hit that subscribe button and let's learn about this magical world together. And there are no limit. The definition of which...